Welcome to Gaming News, a show where we talk about the latest in gaming. Uh, this is uh, kind of interesting. I haven't done one of these in quite some time. But here we are. We're going to be talking about it. We're going to be talking about Ghost of Tsushima. Uh, the PS5 version, I guess you could say. Because apparently the amount of gigs is going to be pretty high up there. Actually, more than what the previous one was. Uh, according to this, it's going to be 60 gigs. That's how much space you're going to need in order to install this. Uh, yeah, that's that's kind of a lot. Uh, originally, uh, it suggested that you would need 50 gigs for the other one. Uh, 35, which was actually the total, and then 12 gigs of update. So, of course, that'd be 47. Yeah, close to 50. So, here's to say, well, is this actually going to be the set number or are you gonna have to actually install more updates as of right now nobody really knows the information all they know is exactly what the game is gonna run at which is you know saying 60 frames at 4k now is it actually gonna stay at 60 frames uh, 4k throughout the whole experience I honestly do not know there's no actual assurance of that actually happening but hey hopefully it it does. Hopefully it actually, you know, runs it that way. Especially if you have your hands on a PS5, which, in all honesty, not a lot of people are able to get their hands on a PS5. And more importantly, you're going to actually get to see, well, as we talk about that, uh, later on uh, in this episode, because we have a ton. Well, not a ton, but we got some more information on PS5s, as you can tell by the title. So, yeah, that, that's basically it. Obviously, there is... I don't know why they're calling director's cut. It's it's really not coming out with anything else other than, you know, buying the DLC for twenty dollars. Which hey yeah, hey, freaking that's great, uh, especially because it's gonna be like a new map, uh, new enemies, a bunch of new things, new uh, you know little mini games. Apparently, uh, it, it's great. More goes to Shima. I'm all for it. Uh, but yeah, I, I just don't I don't like the fact that in order to upgrade to the PS5, you need to pay another ten dollars for that. Yeah, not not really a fan of that. Everyone else is kind of just basically just doing free upgrades, so it's ridiculous that they're trying to charge you another ten dollars for that. But apparently, it's going to be separate. So if you want to buy the DLC just uh, for the PS4, you can do so. But yeah, apparently it's gonna cost you ten dollars to get uh to get that upgrade to the PS5. But uh, I mean, I don't even know who who the hell has a PS5. I don't know anyone who has a PS5. Seriously, I don't. So I mean, if this information is for you, well then there you go. Uh, but next up we're gonna be to something that I do have, and it's a great game. In fact, uh, even though I still have not passed the campaign, I just like you know the multiplayer aspect setting up my. Uh, combatants against other combatants, but also playing single, uh, just single player versus or you know multiplayer against someone else, uh, or the multiverse that they have is that's of course uh, Injustice Two. It's honestly really freaking awesome, but apparently it's not going to be awesome, I guess, in some aspects for those who have it on Steam because apparently in chunky or fat as you would like to put it. Uh, 15 gigs, 15 gigabytes. Wow, that's kind of a hefty thing. Apparently people thought maybe this might be a hint to possibly Injustice 3 or just something else, uh, maybe like adding more stuff to the game, but apparently on there, taking away something and adding something else. What is taken away is apparently some software or anti-cheat software, I guess that was probably messing with the game on Steam. I don't know. I mean, let me know if you have the Steam version of this game. Uh, just how it is. But apparently, yeah, that's what happened. And the other part is actually pretty disappointing. So they're actually putting an ad. Advertisements for Mortal Kombat 11. That's right. Mortal Kombat 11 ads in Injustice 2. This kind of weird not sure why they would do that i mean obviously they want to promote that game but i'm pretty sure people know of that game already but yeah apparently they just they added that and that's it's kind of crazy that they're adding that much to take away something 
and then also putting something like that in. That's a, I mean, that is a, that is a lot of memory just for those two things. So who else knows what's gonna happen? Maybe later down the line, people are gonna come out and say, "Oh man, there is actually more to this." But as of right now, this is what's going on: 15 gigs for uninstalling that Denuvo or some some type of software, and of course, uh, well, uh, adding promotional stuff for. Or Mortal Kombat 11. Uh, yeah, but honestly, if you just want to get Injustice 2 and just have fun with it, I mean, it's a blast. I think I got, like, the main version with the DLC and all that stuff for pretty cheap when they were having, like, some sales. Uh, so I can't wait to do that for Mortal Kombat 11 uh, when the whole Ultimate or whatever the hell edition uh, comes out for it. Because, uh, yeah, I'll get back into Mortal Kombat. I mean, I haven't played that game child ain't like oh, a few decades i tell you that right now <laughs> since i was a kid uh but moving on to something that might actually be even more disappointing than that and that is of course well nintendo nintendo uh released in their twitter account uh something just i guess ridiculous i mean it's nothing exciting but apparently there was there's speculation of how much profit they were making from the OLD or OLED model. Apparently, they were saying that the profit margin was going to be like ten dollars, but they're saying that's not true, and they just wanted to get out of there. But I mean, everyone is just talking about, please fix Joy Cons drift. Other consoles have no problems on a controller. Yeah, it's true. I mean, eh, you know, some controllers are kind of messed up, but that's after like a very long time or dropping them or whatever. But, wow, their Joy-Cons are still not fixed. They're coming out with this crap console. And I do mean it. It's just crap. It's OLED. Like, who, who the hell cares? There's no 1080, I think, 1080 4K. People were waiting for, I think, 1080p screen or 4K capabilities. There, there is so much speculation for, like, a Switch Pro, Pro Switch, whatever the hell you want to call it. And it just disappoints. And a lot, like... It's surprising. There's some people who are actually like, oh my god, I'm going to get it. And it's like, what? Why are you going to get this trash? They didn't fix anything. They didn't do anything new just for that freaking screen. They're selling you the same damn console again. And it's ridiculous. And I believe it's going to be full price, like 300 something dollars or whatever. I, do not buy this. It's, this is really just sad and disappointing. Uh, and speaking of, I guess, disappointing, <laughs> apparently... Uh, the PS5 Digital Edition is getting a new version, or going to be coming out with a new version, which is kind of weird. Weighs 300 grams lighter. I mean, you know, 0.66 pounds lighter, okay. That's basically, that's basically it, like, what? And this is disc-less, okay? There's no disc slot there, so, yeah, I mean... Can people even get their hands on any of this? I don't think anyone could even go into a store right now, you know, and buy a PS5 or even just an Xbox uh, save consoles. Uh, I mean, yeah, I don't, I don't see really no reason. There's no AAA titles right now that would make you go, oh, exclusively for the for the PlayStation 5 and Xbox. Xbox is coming out with, with quite a few as of late um, that are going to be exclusive to them, but damn like why a playstation right now you don't need it it's not needed and this is just really disappointing and boy oh boy something else that's going to be disappointing for playstation uh and actually xbox the fact that people won't be able to buy their consoles right now is of course that they're losing two two uh it's kind of interesting and has put up like 1.26 billion dollars okay billion billion dollars right and they have literally bought out these two companies so uh yeah crackdown which oh it hasn't been doing well obviously so they probably like they, i mean those people probably got like a lot of money from something from just releasing trash games because they're last games were just horrendous but apparently they got bought out but 
another company that actually has been doing well, apparently, is uh, the Sackboy developer, Sumo. And, wow, to me, I mean, hopefully their stock goes up, a lot of good things and positive things come up from that. But, yeah, I mean, Crackdown? I mean, hey, well, good for you. You got bought out by Tencent, right? Hopefully you make that money right there. But, yeah, they're now... They're not with them. So apparently right here is the developer commits to work for higher projects. So what that means is that technically uh, the Sumo group or whatever, the one uh, developed uh, Sackboy, uh, it's kind of one of those things where it makes you think like, okay, so like did Sony not want to make them exclusively i mean especially if they made a game like that i mean wow that's gonna be huge but tencent has been getting a lot of just negative things a lot of negativity so uh, they're really trying to get into this gaming thing but then who knows how many more restrictions are going to apply to these game developers and just to every single game in general uh so wow you could see this as something positive in a way, for these companies who may have not been doing so well, you know, Crackdown. Uh, I can also see this uh, being, like, a huge success for them. But, I mean, we'll, honestly, for, like, a lot of things, we have to just kind of wait and see what they're going to actually do, what's going to happen with these games. Because now, they have to basically adhere to this company, Tencent, who basically has their finger in every looking cranny of like different gaming companies um so we'll see exactly what happens there and uh just what exactly is is gonna happen with these games and these game developers uh hopefully it's something positive but the way the gaming uh gaming has been kind of going the direction a lot of it has been kind of negative the only one that I've seen do mainly positive stuff as of late is, of course, Xbox. Uh, helping a lot of the devs uh, actually caring about the uh, gaming community, uh, about the people as well. Just, you know, lowering prices, the Game Pass thing. It's outstanding. Where PlayStation and, hell, freaking Nintendo is atrocious. Nintendo's probably the one of the worst things. Uh, out there right now even though they have some high quality games for the majority it's they're going downhill and of course you know there's nothing really positive coming from them right now uh but yeah who's to say you know what the hell else tencent is gonna do i mean could you imagine if tencent bought out playstation i'm pretty sure they have the freaking money to do so you know and where Sony has been kind of having difficulties. But I doubt Sony, a Japanese-owned company, is going to sell to a Chinese-owned company. Uh, I think they're going to you know, keep pushing on through. And hopefully come out in a positive light later down the road. Because it has not been going well for PlayStation. Uh, so, thank you. That was basically it. All my gaming news for today. Uh, so, yeah. Uh... So, if you want more videos, uh, go ahead. Uh, they're down there. Uh, I make stop motion music videos, too. And, yeah, until next time, keep on gaming. Bye.